right, in today's Ask Ellen, Mark wants to know why are invasive species so bad? From the surface, they can't even be seen. Zebra and quagga mussels, an invasive species that have completely upended Lake Michigan. When zebra and quagga mussels came over to the Great Lakes, they found very suitable conditions and their populations exploded. The zebra mussels came first and the quagga mussels, which have been colonizing when deeper water came next. This is a mix of quagga and zebra mussels together. Brought in by the ballast water and shipping vessels, these mussels traveled in from overseas. Zebra mussels are more well known. This is what you would see on your dock. It's primarily what we have in inland lakes. It's koagas that are having a deeper impact because they can colonize in deeper water. So they're covering Lake Michigan from Michigan to Wisconsin and as deep as 900 feet. Quagga mussels take out the good algae. They take out the algae that's palatable that all the other organisms want to eat. Zebra mussels, quagga mussels have really changed the, the lake's capacity to hold salmon and trout and things like that. So their catch rates are probably half of what they used to be, but their trips are about the same. So people are getting used to catching less fish, but they're pretty good quality fish. Yeah! Invasive species upheaval has happened before. In the 1940s, nightmarish looking sea lamprey arrived in Lake Michigan, striking a lethal blow to lake trout. By the mid 50s, the commercial lake trout industry on Lake Michigan became nearly extinct. In the 60s, alewife arrived, exploding in droves, dying in heaps, and littering the beach. Bulldozers were needed to clear the stinking piles of dead fish. To this day, salmon are being stocked into Lake Michigan, keeping alewife in check and the fishing industry healthy. But koagas are largely to blame for what's happening to the whitefish. Well, whitefish are de in major decline right now. If whitefish can't learn to thrive in rivers, scientists say it could mean a complete collapse to the whitefish commercial industry. Eventually, koagas will be kept in check. But it's likely they will never fully go away, meaning the clear water is here to stay. Clear water does not always mean clean water. You can see through it, but it doesn't mean it's contaminant free. And if you have mussels that are concentrating contaminants and then the fish eat the mussels and humans eat the fish, it's actually another way for the contaminants to get to humans.